Today we're creating a Deep House track from scratch. I've been getting a few requests to create content that is more in depth, showing you the entire process of my workflow and how exactly I approach the creation of individual sounds as well as the sound design and arrangement process. Let's get started. So as you can see here, we're gonna start entirely from scratch from a completely empty Ableton session. So I'm just gonna look for a sample that sparks my inspiration. Let's see if we can start off with some type of atmosphere or chord sample. Go with this, drag it into our audio layer here. And let's create a sidechain ducking channel up here just for the sidechain later on so we get that pumping effect. Load in a compressor. There we go. Just so we have that channel ready. All this side chaining. There we go. Set our BPM. Let's say let's go for a 119. Aiming for a bit of a melancholic house vibe. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, this should work. Let's see. So create another MIDI track. Control Shift T. Drag this in here. Gonna look for a drum rack. Oopsa. There we go. So now we get to drag in some kick samples. Let's see. Drums. Kicks. Just gonna go for a different style with every kick. Not sure which one I'm looking for now. Maybe like this type, or this one. One with a bit of a transient. Let's see what fits best, I don't know. So Control Shift M to create a MIDI clip. Every fourth bar. Hit this so we can listen to our sample. See where this track leads me. So now we can apply a sidechain, call this kick, input from kick, and have, let's group this channel over here, call this melodics, and have this go into our sidechain here. Gonna hit H so our window gets a bit wider. We see all the tracks here. Input. I'm not so satisfied with the kick. That's a bit better. Just testing out. Okay, this one's a pretty heavy kick, but maybe it might work out. Need a clap. Need something to assist the main rhythm of this. Make this white and the kick yellow. I like to keep my drums yellow. Group this, call this core drums. Control Shift T, create a MIDI clip. So now we're gonna look for some claps. Looking for a bit of a loose clap. Every eighth bar. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this a couple times. Control E, duplicate that here. And now, pre shift the clap using this delay panel here. Don't like the clap a lot. Yeah, this one's cooler. Let's 
Let's see if we can add some type of hi hat now. Maybe an open hat. Those tend to sound more techy, tech housey. Let's see. Every eighth bar, reduce the volume a bit. Duplicate this section here. Suck. Here we go. Getting a bit of a lo fi house vibe here. <laughs> Oops, uh, yeah, let's actually save this one here. <laughs> so, tutorial video projects. What are we gonna, so what are we gonna call this? Tech house dream thingy. Okay, yep, cool. Saved it. Always save your projects. <laughs> Reduce the sustain on the hi hat so we get a shorter hat. Let's see if we can add some low percussion. Gonna create a MIDI track hitting Control Shift T, but I don't want this to be part of the core drums. I want this to be part of a separate drum channel called Perks and Other Drums. Let's just call this Perks and Other. So this one goes into our sidechain channel. Drums, drum rack, let's load that in. And now we're gonna hit Control Shift M to create a MIDI clip and load in a few low and high perk samples. Let's see, no idea where this is gonna lead me. Just gonna try some stuff out. Yeah, this thump sound could really work like an off, offbeat tom. Mm -hmm. Decrease the volume a bit. Maybe turn off the hi-hat for now. Yeah. Create a bit of groove using these offbeat low tom sounds. Duplicate this for now. Cool, let's take this. Duplicate this section here, so we, like this. See if we can add some more perk in between. Now this one has too much of a tone to it, so I'm actually gonna go for a different sound. Woodblock sounds might work. I'm gonna shorten this one a bit. Let's see. Uh, this might be a bit too much for my taste. Add this one every few bars. This one should be enough. Duplicate this. Let's 
Let's add a bit of room to the hi-hat. Send this into one of our return channels. So increase this one here. You can blend in your return channels using this little panel here, the R button. And you, you can send in your signal into your return channel. Just make sure that whatever is on your return channel here is on 100% wet. If you want to create a return channel, I think it's Control, Alt, and T. Yeah. You can see one of these channels is created then. But we don't want this. So we're going to delete it and blend out our return channels. Let's blend out the piano. So we have just the drum groove now. Can do some group processing. Bus, drum bus. Let's not go too hard here. Nice. Um, it's really easy to take it too far with this drum bus plugin, but just want a bit of crunchiness. Yeah, we don't want a lot going on. We just want that bit of saturation, that feeling of the drums being glued together. Perhaps add a bit more variation to the drum groove here. Gonna hit Control Shift T and create another MIDI track and create some shakers now. Have a few of those in the Daydreamer Organic House pack that I've created. Wait, wait, wait. So, shakers. Actually, also going to create a drum rack for this one here. And wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Just going to add in a few. Budget. Control Shift M. Reduce the volume. Yeah, this one's really loose. I like this one here. One like really snappy shakers. Hmm. Go with this for now. That's sixteenth shaker groove. Yeah, this one's quite cool. So, oops, I uh, need to set it to the right length. Can't be right, let's do it like this. There we go. Consolidate this, hitting Control J. And let's see if our drum goof could use a bit of swing. So, user library, grooves. Wait, no, grooves, I uh, like these MPC grooves, swing gonna add a few of them into our drum groove here to our groove pool this number at the end shows you the intensity of the swing and since we're using this on our percussion and shaker loops we want a 16th swing just gonna drag in a few intensities here and see which one or if there's a swing pattern that fits our drum groove so control shift I mean so shift and tab to open this window here, groove, too intense. Yeah, 64 
pattern is really cool. So let's actually resample our shakers here without the groove. So we want to take off the groove pattern here. I want to work with audio for these shakers and resample them. We don't want the side chain to be in the sample, so we're going to turn that off for now and resample this here. Cool, this one works. Just duplicate this, turn this one off for now. I'm going to leave it here, just disable it so we know that we're not using it. Reduce the volume here and apply the groove to this one here. Change it to beats. There we go. Change it to 16th. See if we can actually apply some drum bus to our other sounds as well. Mm hmm Okay. Let's call this one Shakers. Now I want some type of melodic sound or an atmosphere that really sparks me to take the track into a more melodic direction. I have a pretty solid drum groove now, but I want something that really gets the track going, gets the vibe starting. Yeah, let's perhaps go for a more melodic and mellow sound. Loop that up, perhaps. Just take the first little snippet. Yeah, this could work. I don't know. Let's test out this one, though. Duplicate it till the end. Let's add an auto filter. Set an auto filter to the piano as well. Cool. Shift this one up to 12 semitones. Let's try it out. See how the sample sounds. A bit too warpy. Maybe seven semitones could work out too. Perhaps we could also use this sample by creating a new audio track, pitching it down. Since we're in the key of F minor, as you can see here, and this one's in F sharp minor, I'm going to have to pitch this one down uh, by one semitone. I like the complex pro warp mode for these types of stuff more. Yeah, this one's better for sure. Now, auto filter on this one too. Gonna use some reverb to make the fades a bit smoother. If the sample goes like... <laughs> and uh, yeah, we want a bit of a smoother up and down. Yeah, the core idea is already pretty much established. I think this kick really does a great job in giving us that lo-fi feeling. A bit more of a techie vibe. 
the ones with the transient give it a completely different vibe. This one this is cool too. See how much of a difference it is to use different kicks in your tracks. Such an important element to focus on. So I want to go with this heavier kick type of feel, more of like this oomph, this bass drum type of vibe. Yeah, oomph. <laughs> the name already implies this is the right kick. I like how the shaker gives it a much more groovier vibe. I'm going to call these ones. Uh, Rename Shakers. Okay. So there should be a MIDI file for this one here. I'm going to create a Control Shift T MIDI browser. So every chord in the Daydream Organic House Pack comes with a MIDI file that is named the same way. Just going to drag that in. Delete these time signatures here. See if we can add an arpeggio. I like this sound called Saw Pure Muted Bass. One of my favorite stock sounds in Ableton. Takes a bit of time to load, but it's worth it. There we go. And let's see, Voices 32. Just have to change the key, I think. Oh no, I dragged in the wrong one. Uh, moment of truth. It's a different chord progression. Uh, it's number 12. There we go. I want this to be an octave higher and to be played as an arpeggio. So we're gonna head into, uh, delete these first, head into MIDI effects arpeggio, arp, this one here. Open up the sound a bit. 16th perhaps. Close up the time. We need a swing. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go for this one first and we could change the chord progression later on. I want static arpeggio to play in the intro. some more effects to be applied here, so... The B return channel, as you can see here, is my delay, also set to Resonance gives it this vintage vibe. Cool. It's already pretty stable. Cool melodic, seven eyes chord progression here. So let's move this MIDI file a bit more towards here. So we have some room to duplicate our drum groove. We don't want to get stuck in the loop. We already have a lot going on here. 
So we're just going to take this and duplicate it one, two. Oh, move this a bit more. Don't want this to be overwritten by my duplication. <laughs> so yeah, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to start reducing elements from the intro, like the shakers. Don't want a lot of high frequency action during the intro. See if we can actually blend out the chords a bit. Oh, the, the, the. Slowly fade in the sound. Maybe we could add a bass in first, just so we have that sound ready. Control Shift T, group this one here, call it bass. I usually like to color my bass red. Send this one into sidechain as well. Matter of fact, we could turn this on. Oh yeah. Let us go for the MIDI file here. Drag this in. Delete every note besides the bass notes. Assign track color to clips. Duplicate this and see if we can come up with a really nice bass sound. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try using soft pure muted bass again. down an octave. That's oh, a bit too low. Turn up the velocities, hitting alt. Turn up the filter amount of the piano slightly. We don't need any open hi-hats in the intro, so we're going to take those away. And as a matter of fact, we can add some EQ, because we don't want that much bass in the intro as well. So I'm going to call this one low cut. Or drums. Camera still on? Yeah, camera still on. So, this one here. Show animation. Whoop. Want this to be on here. No, other way around. See, I'm going to duplicate this layer and see if I can come up with another bass pattern because I'm not that satisfied with the sound, to be honest. Logan, Steva. I love Diva. Okay. Initialize the preset. The init preset. Going to use it for this one here. Woo! can still use the high frequencies from this. Perhaps pitch it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven using this MIDI pitch plugin here. You can find it under this panel called pitch and it's a MIDI effect. There's a couple of presets here. It's 
not that fascinating to be honest. We're gonna disable this layer first. Stick with the main bass sound here. Pitch it up an octave. Let's see if we... to the old one Let's see I'm gonna have to switch these bass lines later on don't want to get stuck with them now our priority is to move on with the arrangement I'm gonna look for some more fill elements perhaps some Transition sounds. Let's go with this one here. Group this, call this one FX. Send this one into sidechain as well. Apply some return effects to this channel here. See if we can do a bit of a fill for the kick here. Perhaps remove the clap before the bass hits back in. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the kick here. Oops, uh. Nope. So we need some swing on the kicks as well. That's why they're not sounding the way we want them to sound. I'm gonna apply it to this one here. Might want to add some perk fill too. Uh, we already have swing here, so that's fine. Cool. Yeah. I want some vocals in my track, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Let's go with this one here. I'm just gonna have to re-pitch it so it fits our sound. Gonna do some crazy vocal effect fill type thing with this here. Yes. And now I want this vocal to fade out. So I'm going to um, add a delay directly onto the layer. Camera is still working. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oops. Uh. No, add this later. Get delay feedback loop. Yes. This 
this is what I'm looking for. Add a filter so we open up the sound as we progress into the drop. remove the bass from this part here to build some tension with the shakers too build some more tension here using the hi-hats and the shakers Okay, but we want this kick fill to be applied to this section here. I remove the clap. Now we still have the feedback in our ears. <laughs> okay, it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter. We're also going to do the same for the bass here, on a slow cut bass. Arpeggio back in here. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to disable this vocal sound because it's a bit too loud. Let's see if we can pitch it up an octave here. Vocal sample really fills out the track. Gives it a unique vibe too. I'm gonna keep that. I don't know. Maybe disable it later. Gonna go into the ambiente sample pack and see if we can find some atmospheric transitions. Have some tonal ones. anymore. Damn. Add a few of theme. There we go. Unwarp that. Oh, lovely. second so transition right before our bass is muted you can see there's an automation for the kick here low cut chord drums 
that's where I like to add my first transition. There's also a low cut on the base here. You can see it being applied here. So we build tension, smoothly create a transition to when we want to build tension. Add tension over here. You can hear that with the shakers and the pads slowly opening up, piano opening up. Perhaps we want to create a bit more of a fade for the piano and fade in our shakers. So that's a bit smoother here. You know what I'm saying? So we have our clean transition sound. I like to add in a few transition sounds every now and then because it gives the track or fills out the track very well. Actually, do something really crazy over here. Mute the piano and create a bass line without a progression. Turn your audio track. I'm sorry, vocal layer. I'm gonna have to disable you first. Let's go into the. I know there's a really nice subgroove in this pack over here, subgroove. Yeah, let's just test it out. Maybe it fits. So we have our bass progression. Add this back in here, turn off our bass for now. Mute this layer since we're not using it. Add some delay. or drop a bit of a different vibe here. Let's listen to it again, see if it fits. Apply a bit of automation to the delay here.
cool, but we need a bit more smoothness to the transition. Therefore, I'm actually gonna add an EQ to the piano so we get a bit of an automation right before the drop. Move the bass to create some more tension. Add it before the delay, perhaps. That might change the sound. Mm -hmm. Bit more. Perhaps we can slowly fade in the bass right here. With a bit of automation. So. Bass pre-drop automate. So we slowly get in or add the bass in here. Perhaps we could do like this. Just testing out what fits our arrangement the best here. Delicious. No, it's too harsh. better it's getting better not sure 100% yet Vocal sample really fills out the track well. Pay attention to the difference. So I'm creating a bit of a vibe switch at this point here. Just seeing if it fits or not. making progress. It's good. Add in the chords back here. Make sure we Turn that off for now. So. Remove the delay automation here. Add 
add in the old base that we had before. See if we can add the MIDI here. We increase the frequency on the ARP, create some tension. This button over here enables us to copy clips without the automation being overwritten. Since we turn that off and we start copying the clip, you see our automation's overwritten. We turn it on, duplicate the clip without overriding the original automation. Pretty cool. Duplicate this a bit. So there we go. I can work with this. Delete these clips here. Delete this one here. Gonna stick with the original base. more melodics in my track here. In me track here, laddie. Uh, diva. Give it a bit more character. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm going to have to overwrite this delay here because it's really getting on me nerves. Create a new audio track, hit resampling, turn off the sidechain so that doesn't get resampled too. Increase the volume here and resample our vocal. Oops. Oh, perhaps I should... Turn on the delay before resampling. Thank you very much. Now Duplicate this here, give this a different color, and fade this out here. So what do we have? Perfect. 
perfect so we don't have that eternal delay loop. <laughs> Turn on our side chaining again. I'm gonna come up with a unique little fill melody now. On this vocal loop. Something like that. I don't know. Get scale F minor since we're in the scale of f minor and we already have diva loaded envelope two is controlling our filter amount i really love the initial preset from diva it's on its own sounds just freaking cool but i want some more melody action here oops -la. quiet down that Increase the decay, we want a bit of a longer sound, please. Thank you. Like a really delay, delay -y type sound. No, 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 no. So we get to restart from here. Let's see if this works. I don't know. Some variation. No, I want a different delay for this one here. Mixing delay, 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 please. Thank you. I like the default Ableton delay because it's awesome. Ping pong. Automation before the drop. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know if I should turn off the melody for the drop or not. It depends. I like to add like... If I decide not to include the melody in the drop, like when the melody is introduced in the break and the drop hits, I like to fade out the melody using a delay here so it sounds a bit smoother. Not like it's suddenly turning off. But in other cases, I like to also continue the melody in the drop, but it depends on its sound. Like it's always different in every track. 
just test out what fits the vibe. Music's always testing out, seeing what works, what not. That's creative process. And then what we could do is add in the melody back in later. That always works fine. So we reintroduce it here. Can actually open this delay in a new panel, the filter in a new panel as well. Copy this. Oh yeah, we could add some swing as well. frequencies here. Mm. Yeah, I like this a bit more. Cool, cool, cool character melody let's call this character mellow i wanted to have a different reverb to be honest this one's a bit too dry see if we can add like one on here Try the different bass for the drop. Honestly, we're just going to keep this bass here. It sounds better. Trial and error. as a stab, maybe reverse it into the drop might sound cool. Yes. space when the piano plays so we're just going to duplicate that save it for later perhaps decrease the cutoff here 
and apply some automation to our melody. Ooh, beautiful. And we could also duplicate this vocal loop layer here and just test out if it fits. Let's see, Letty. Let's see. Add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. freezing a bit here. This could, but could work. I don't know. Could be a bit too intense. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's very progressive, these risers. Just for funsies. Let's see if we can do some Valhalla delay on the main melody. the sound. I like it.
Now we could perhaps add like a percussion loop or some kind of top loop to the second part of the drop. Add it to our main drum groove or the percussions. Have a few nice ones here in the daydreamer pack. Let's see. Uh, this one's a bit tonal, but let's see. No, that doesn't do it, unfortunately. Grab some shakers. We need some swing. Can't forget the swing here. Beats, transients, 16th. I don't know, it might work. This one could work better though. Yes, uh, delayed. Apply the groove. some more wideness to these shakers chorus modulated delay simple chorus it's a delay preset it's really cool uh, maybe add another loop Let's see if it works or not duplicated the layer disable the chorus show in browser See. Don't forget to apply the groove. Softer. This one's really fit well to organic house, but we have a bit of a more progressive house vibe in this track. have it as a subtle loop on the side could work as well okay to be honest with you it's time to kind of fade out the track here take my time take a bit more time for the drum grooves since I want them to be very intricate and on point but in this case I just went for a loop something quick and easy Here, oh, 
want the animation to be copied, so let's take it. And after this ARP, we want to slowly build down the elements. here so it doesn't sound too mon monotonous monotono monotonous <laughs> to be part of a separate channel here recolor these as a matter of fact i'll change the entire color of these okay call this harmony mm-hmm Slowly fade them out, laddie. Very slowly. Reduce the amount of high frequencies toward the end of the track. So shakers and all. Slowly fade those out. To create as smooth of an outro as we can. And then, base layer. As smooth as we can, so fade these out slowly. I like using auto filter to filter out the melodic elements in the high frequencies towards the end of the track. Low cut bass. 
space. Just the percussion sounds. Let me add a transition here. Cool. Fade these guys out too. Slowly fade out the track. It's a really short little deep house track. Deep house, progressive house track. Really vibey, a lot of fun to create. Just gonna delete these deactivated clips so we have a clean looking session here. We didn't end up using this, so might as well delete that out. Save this one here. Mastering. Oh gosh. So much mastering stuff here. Don't need a lot of them. This can be deleted. that the clap is causing the limiter and the master to be triggered too much. So what I'm gonna do is add a glue compressor to our claps so that we compress them before they get into our mastering channel.
there's a trick during mastering that I learned from some dude. <laughs> it's called vocal up or vocal down. You can increase the vocals up by 2 dB or decrease them by 2 dB in the mastering just to get that final tune right. And I apply that to my kick most of the time because I found out that it works for the kick as well. So if you want to tune your kick during mastering, that's a really good technique just to decrease the volume, play around with the bass, see where that leads you because you can do a lot during mastering. Because oftentimes we mix the track with a kick that sounds a bit too harsh and during mastering we can kind of like create a sound that's a bit better better sounding, softer, more mellow. Just messing around, messing around. Reducing some of the harsh frequencies with this Fletcher Munson EQ, messing around with the scale knob, dancey. He really emphasizes the highs in a really clean way, reduces the bass a bit. some space for the kick. Dope! hard techno track as well just listen to it on its own it's so amazing cool 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 our full track finished here ladies if you have this plugin you can also use it as well it's optional there's a lot of stereo plugins out there too 
allows you to man manage the stereo spectrum a bit. when it's usually between one and plus one. That's a healthy spectrum. I've got a bit of noise here. So I'm gonna stop it at this point here. You can see we created like this progressive Anjuna type track, which was really fun. You can grab these sounds using the links down below. Have fun producing, enjoy, peace out. Hallo Oma, Oma, ich mach grad Aufnahme, ich komm gleich raus. Ja? Ich weiß. Danke Oma. Ah,